The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my site, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you are encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households I'm your host, Gary Baumgarten. Well, they say the biggest prize of the battleground states is Florida. Barack Obama has 100,000 people in the state getting out the vote. Obama is spending a record $39 million in Florida, which is traditionally a red state. The John McCain campaign claims an extensive grassroots get-out-the-vote organization as well, but they're really being outspent by the Democrats. Uh, meanwhile... The candidates keep visiting Florida. The people line up for early voting, as you can see on the video, those of you who are on Pal Talk. Well, here's Joe Biden speaking at a recent rally. The question in this election is not, are you better off than you were four years ago? Because all kidding aside, everyone knows, all, in all serious, Republicans, Democrats, everybody knows knows the answer to that question. The real question is, and I mean this sincerely, the real question is, who will make us better off four years from now? That's what we should focus on. And you got it right. Barack Obama, Barack Obama, in my view, is that clear choice. Meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, John McCain uh, has been uh, stumping in Florida as well. Here he is at a rally with Governor Chris contrasting his position on energy with that of Obama. And we see the video, but we don't hear the audio, Boaz. Words, words you know, like, like offshore drilling. He said, we'll quote, consider it, consider it, my friends. With more money and more revenues to the state of Florida, we will drill offshore and we will drill now. Well, today's well, Associated today's... Press poll concludes that Obama leads in four states, won by President Bush in 2004, and is tied with McCain in two other Republican states. He leads, the poll concludes, among the early voters in Florida. But not all McCain supporters are waving the white flag, at least not yet. Our guest today is Dr. Rich Swire, and he believes that McCain can win in Florida. Swire is a conservative Florida web and political commentator on the radio. He believes that two factors may swing his state into the McCain column. First, a statewide referendum on marriage, Amendment 2, is drawing a lot of conservative votes. Another factor that could help McCain in Florida, he says, is that it boasts a large number of veterans as residents. Swire is a veteran. He is a 23-year uh, Army vet who retired as a lieutenant colonel in 1990. He was awarded the Legion of Merit for his years of service. Additionally, he was awarded the Bronze Star with V for heroism in ground combat, the Presidential Unit Citation, and the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry while serving with the 101st Airborne Division in Vietnam. He was co-founder and CEO of Sarasota Online, a high-tech company sold to Comcast Cable in 1996. He is president of the Sarasota County Veterans Commission. He has been appointed as chairman of the Sarasota National Cemetery Advisory Committee by Congressman Vern Buchanan. He is also publisher of From the Duke, an internationally read website dedicated to families, traditional value, values, a strong national defense, and personal responsibility. Dr. Rich Swire, welcome to News Talk Online on paltalk.com. And 
and Boaz, I am Good not hearing. I'm looking forward to this great, this great program. There we go. I hear you now, Rich. Uh, well, we're, we're uh, very happy to have you with us. And first, I want to start off by thanking you for your service uh, to our nation. Why do you think that uh, Florida is still in play for uh, John McCain? Well, I think I don't think it's in play. I think John McCain's going to win it. <clears throat> I'm going to, I think he's going to win it for three different reasons. Uh, actually, four different reasons. Uh, the first one that you mentioned earlier is that we have Amendment 2 on the ballot here. And uh, very interestingly, uh, there's a recent survey. It's not a poll. It's a survey uh, that's indicating that, that, uh, that folks are going to vote around 68% in Florida in favor of Amendment 2. And Amendment 2 simply defines marriage as between one man and one woman. That's all it does. Um, what's interesting about that is we believe that at, at, uh, poll, at, with a survey of 10,000 Florida residents, uh, with a survey showing 68% voting in favor, we believe that that uh, 68%, at least I believe, that that 68% is going to additionally pull the lever for Senator McCain. And again, these are people across party lines. This is not a party line issue. This is a an issue that crosses it's Republican, Democrat, and Independent. So I think that's a big issue right there. Um, the second one you mentioned, Gary, that I think is very important is the large uh, military and uh, veteran retiree population in Sarasota uh, and throughout Florida. Uh, I happen to live in Sarasota, and within 75 miles of where I live, there's over 400 and there's over 400,000 veterans, that's not including their family members. In the state of Florida, we have 1.8 million plus veterans, not including their family members. So that's a large chunk uh, of folks, and uh, polls from the Army Times indicate that about 68% of those folks are going to trend towards uh, Senator McCain. Another interesting uh, thing that's happening is recently, I think you've, you've heard about it, Gary, on, uh, on the television.